Hello, my name is Cole Mai Dong. I am a Farm D candidate class of 2022 from California North State University College of Pharmacy. Today I'm going to discuss with you about one of the first generation of antipsychotic. Uh, this is uh, profenazine. So on the top of this slide, there are the tablets available in the uh, United States with the strength of 2, 4, 8, and 16 milligram. First of all, there is some consultation points. Uh, what is this drug used for? It is used to treat the upset stomach and vomiting. It is also used to treat schizophrenia. What do I tell my doctor before I take this drug? Uh, uh, if you have any allergic to this drug, um, a health problem, uh, such as blood problem, bone marrow disease, brain blood problem, liver disease, or low blood cell count. If you are very sleepy, uh, or if you recently um, drunk a lot of alcohol or taken a big amount of drugs such as uh, phenobarbital oxycodone, uh, and this one uh, do not give the drug to the children less than 12 years old. What are some side effects that I need to call my doctor right away? If you have a side of allergic reaction such as rash, hive, itching, rest, swollen, uh, if you have a side of high or low blood pressure, uh, thought of hurting yourself or suicide, uh, uh, trouble controlling your movement, twitching, chin imbalance, uh, chest pain or pressure, uh, if you are shakiness, trouble moving around, stiffness, trouble passing urine. What are some side effects that of these drugs? Uh, all drugs may cause side effects, however, many people have no side effect or only have minor side effects. Call your doctor or get medical help if you uh, experience uh, side, um, some side effects um, such as dizziness, headache, feeling sleepy, dry mouth, GI problem, um, stuffy nose, uh, uh, trouble sleeping, and sweating. Uh, the indication for uh, this medication is nausea, vomiting, uh, and schizophrenia. Mechanism of profenazine. Profenazine belongs to a first generation antipsychotic. Uh, profenazine is phenothiazine derivative derivative and a dopamine antagonist with anti-emetic and antipsychotic property. Uh, Profenazine plug post-synaptic dopamine 2 or D2 receptor in the mesolimbic and medullary chemoreceptor trigger zone, thereby preventing the access uh, of dopamine in the brain. This leads to reduction in a psychotic symptoms such as hallucination and delusion. Profenazine appears to exert its anti-emetic activity by blocking dopamine and histamine 1 receptor in the chemoreceptor uh, trigger zone, thereby relieving nausea and vomiting in the brain. Uh, the mechanism of anti-emetic effect is due to predominantly to block of the dopamine D2 in the neurotransmitter receptor in the chemoreceptor trigger zone and vomiting center. Interactions Metabolism of number of medication including antipsychotic, uh, antidepression, beta blocker, antiadrimic, uh, occur through CIF-450-2D6 uh, isoenzyme. Uh, 
approximately 10% of Caucasian population have reduced activity of this enzyme, so-called poor metabolizers. Among other population, the prevalent is not known. Uh, poor metabolizer demonstrate higher plasma concentration of antipsychotic drug at a user dose, uh, which may correlate with emergence of side effects. The uh, concomitant uh, administration of other drugs that inhibit the activity of CYP450-2D6 uh, may acutely increase plasma concentration of antipsychotics. Among these are TCA, SSRI, such as fluoxetine, sertraline, paroxetine. For doses and administration, uh, doses in United States for phenazine available in tablet as 2, 4, 8, and 16 milligram tablet. Uh, for moderately disturbed non-hospitalized patient with uh, schizophrenia, 4 to 8 milligram three times a day. Uh, for hospitalized patient with schizophrenia, uh, dose is 8 to 16 milligram two times a day to four times a day. Max is 64 milligram daily. For severe nausea and vomiting in a dose, uh, dose is six to excuse me, eight to 16 milligram. For administration, uh, it can be uh, administered with or without food. Uh, side effects. Uh, some side effects as I mentioned earlier, uh, but the main side effects uh, are the central nervous system such as EPS, uh, dystonia, persistent uh, tardive uh, dyskinesia, uh, autonomic effects such as dry mouth or uh, salivation, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and anorexia. Side effects continue. Uh, Endocrine side effects such as nausea, lactation, uh, galactorrhea, moderate breast enlargement in female, uh, gynecomastia uh, in male on the large dose. Cardiovascular effects such as postural hypotension, tachycardia, bradycardia, uh, cardiac arrest, thinness. Uh, hematological effects such as a granulocytosis, uh, eosinophilia, uh, leukopenia, hemolytic anemia, uh, thrombocytopenic uh, pupora, pentocytopenia. Warning and precaution. Contrary indication, uh, hypersensitivity to for phenazine or any component of this formulation, a CNF depression, a subcortical uh, brain damage, with or without hypothalamic damage, uh, bone marrow suppression, plus a dyscrasia, uh, liver damage, a concern that related to adverse effect. Uh, such as uh, alter cardiac conduction, anticholinergic effect, uh, also have anti emetic effect, senior C- depression, and EPS. Black box warning uh, for elderly uh, the uh, chance of death is higher in elderly with dementia, uh, normally uh, with, uh, with heart disease or infection. Uh, it is not approved to treat mental problem caused by dementia. Monitoring uh, parameters uh, for efficacy, uh, CBC, fasting uh, lipid panel, blood pressure, LDL, A1C. For safety, uh, um, access the mental status, vital sign and alertness, weight, height, uh, BMI 
uh, with circumference, electrolyte, renal and liver uh, function, change in uh, menstruation, libido, uh, abnormal involuntary movement, autonomic instability, uh, monitor frequently uh, uh, white blood cell with history of drug-induced leukopenia or neutropenia. Dose in adjustment, uh, there's no renal or hepatic dose in adjustment. Uh, when uh, discontinue uh, the therapy, gradually taper to avoid physical withdrawal and rebound symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms such as agitation, alternating feeling of warm and cold, anxiety, uh, diaphoresis, dyskinesia. Uh, the risk is higher with antipsychotics, excuse me, with anticholinergic or dopaminergic antipsychotics. And here's my references. Thank you.